Is caring for your health important? Many people seem to think that you shouldn't be concerned about your health until you're much older. You should be able to live how you want and even eat how you want at a younger age of life. And your only concern should be once you hit over the hill. Is that true? We're going to talk about that right now. But first, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're new. Don't forget to hit the bell icon once you are subscribed so that you are alerted as soon as new content is available. Don't forget to like us on Facebook at the name The Seal of God Network as well as The Watchman for Christ. Now, is caring for your health really important? Well, according to Healthline, in an article titled Balanced Diet, they state why a balanced diet is important. A balanced diet is important because your organs and tissues need proper nutrition to work effectively. Without good nutrition, your body is more prone to disease, infection, fatigue, and poor performance. Children with a poor diet run the risk of growth and developmental problems and poor academic performance. And bad eating habits can persist for the rest of their lives. Rising levels of obesity and, di and diabetes in America are prime examples of the effects of a poor diet and a lack of exercise. The Center for Science and the Public Interest reports that four of the top 10 leading causes of death in the United States are directly influenced by diet. These are heart disease, cancer, stroke, and diabetes. So what this does is this literally gives new meaning to the phrase, you are what you eat. What we eat literally becomes a part of the chemical makeup of the body, as well as what we do not eat. Sadly, many of us are literally eating ourselves into an early grave due to the unhealthy diet choices we make, whether out of ignorance or a perceived or deceived perverted appetite. This is the reason why the writer of Proverbs says, and put a knife to your throat if you are a man given to appetite. What King Solomon is saying isn't that we should literally seek to intentionally slit our throats, but that since having a perverted addiction to an improper diet is killing your body, you may as well go ahead and kill yourself because it's what you are already doing. When we destroy our bodies eating an improper food diet, it impacts not only our minds, but as well as our health. When our health is impacted, it affects our lives and our service to God. What many don't realize is that God created us to delight in his will and to do of his good service. For such is our purpose in being so that we may glorify him. Our bodies were created as his temples and he desires to dwell within us. God will not dwell with inside a corrupted temple. When we destroy our bodies with our diets, we are actually committing the sin of murder and the destruction of the temple of God. And if we destroy 
our body temple. We leave God no choice but to destroy us. Truth is stranger than fiction. And no matter whether or not we like it, truth always stays true. God bless you. I love you. It's time to wake up.